Hey guys, due to the requests from ttforum.co.uk, I've decided to show you how to remove this center console. Usually this is the part which needs to be uh, removed in order to adjust the hand brake. But in order to remove rear center console, you also need to remove this front center console. Now you want to start by removing this plastic thing and there is a bolt behind it and the same one from the other side. First open this up with a small screwdriver, just pull this in, take it out. And now the other side, same thing. By the way, this is size 8. When this is done, you should be able to remove this middle panel. Just work it through so it sits on these four pins and as always when reinstalling lubricate those because if you ever need to get back in here it will be so much easier just to undo this. Same on this side, just work underneath and try to unlatch these pins and then when you get to the end just pull it out. We need to take off this ladder on the shifter. Well, I have this very nice set of prying tools. You don't need such a big set. You can just buy five dollar uh, prying tools. You can also do it with the screwdriver, but you know, you, you could mess your aluminum piece in here. So get yourself some plastic things. Maybe this one. Despite this looks very crazy, it's pretty simple. You just push this thing in, pry it up, you already see it's coming out, now we can work it with the hand, push it on, you can remove the shifter by breaking this clamp and then the shifter just slides, pulls up, uh, but obviously you will need to replace this clamp. In this case I won't do it because it's not necessary. For clamp hoses you can get a tool like that which makes the job very easy. You can also use regular pliers for cutting, but you need to be a bit more handy and careful with this guy. Now it's maybe time to remove these charging cables. Money. Next, we want to pry this whole silver trim up. Try to grab it somewhere and pull it straight up. Yeah, well, be gentle. You don't want to break it and then here where it gives you some trouble you can pry it up with the prying tool like that. You always want to pry up as close to the pins as possible otherwise you will just break them and this won't hold. Once everything is undone you can take the whole thing off. Maybe first remove the cable so you need to unpin it from behind and just pull it off. There is also this cable. Now the whole trim can be removed. It sits on these pins. Now be careful because these metal brackets tend to get out of their place. So they make sure that all of them are in. Like here for example. We need to return it in. Also one is missing in here. Okay, this one, this one, this one, to fix that one, okay, like that. If you were doing some job on this trim, now you can replace either switches, add new switches. Here are the four torque screws to remove this silver ring, but we are going further. We need to remove all of these bolts, which I believe are 8 millimeters. Put your handbrake up so that you will have more room working out with the trim. Sometimes you can't get your power tool in here. Store them somewhere safe, like here. No, this will go out. We need to put them elsewhere. Apparently there is one more bolt. You need to remove this, which sits on these two pins, in here and in here. And there is one more bolt. 
Now we also need to remove this climate control. You should have a special tool like a hook which goes in here and then you, you are able to pull it from behind. But what I'm doing since I don't have this tool, I have an 8mm hex. It fits in, there is a little hole and then I can pull it. I put it in and then I rotate it and then I can pull it like that, like that. And since there is no handle on, on this hex, you grab it with pliers and then just... So this guy sits on these pins on the side and if this is stuck then you might also need to remove the radio and then unpin this with the screwdriver from top. We remove all the connections and all connections are done they all have these safety pins on the bottom here here and here you can just remove the whole thing put it aside and the good thing about connection is that they have all different sizes so you can't mess up rewiring there is one more bolt which holds the ashtray there is a hole and in here there is one eight millimeter so when this bolt is loose then the whole ashtray falls down and you can slowly slide it out careful not to scratch if you feel it's easier you can also move your shift lever to the drive position just put car into ignition and then just move it down you should now disconnect the cable for the ashtray so this is hidden here behind this isolation press this button down and unpin it here goes the ashtray and then I've put this screw in here not to forget that this also needs to be screwed down I guess I don't need to mention but I will say it anyway be very 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 careful with everything with all your plastic edges not to scratch some of your leather or whatever interior you have whenever you are removing something or with screwdrivers be be careful and with your fingernails just be careful especially if you like your car now when the ashtray is out what you want to do now is to remove this and that bolt and now also remove the two 10 millimeter bolts finally we can remove the whole center console try to raise the handbrake even more as far as you can and now just work the console upwards just very very gently work your way out with the console uh, be very careful with this edge here not to scratch underneath of your handbrake try to get the thing out of the way since my goal here is to remove this rear middle console this is enough so that we just lift this off and then this rear middle console is loose already so i will just leave it at that obviously if you want you can just put this upwards and then push the whole thing off it's even easier if you take off the shifter i won't do it in this case what we have here is a custom made compartment uh, which i made in some other video first we need to remove this since this is taped down i know that there is a hole what we need to do is to grab this thing and pull it up and pull this straight up despite i have lubricated this it still is terrible to take off how to take off original parts see the, the other video so when these four pins are done now we want to remove bolts in here you can also remove this hand rest it just pops up just like that very simple two pins at this point we also need to remove this bracket with these torque screws This is Torx 25, so take this off. When all this is done, we can pull this thing straight up and remove it. Also unpin the cable here. And here it goes. Just like that, you can access all the cables 
and uh, handbrake tensioning bolt which is here long way to get here I know crazy now you can also access airbag control module since we are so far already just grab it pull it straight up same from the other side pull it straight up here through this hole you can access your fuel pump and the wiring and that's it what is it do it now it's time to clean this stuff a little bit and vacuum clean everything here since you don't often have access to this as always install in reverse order so i won't show this here just play backwards thanks for watching and see you next time